So I've been using Unity for 7 years now and I know the engine well. Here are some tips that will help you use Unity much faster. Over the years of using the engine, I have discovered these tricks. So let's learn them to make our life a lot easier. Hey guys, I'm Aporbo. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Let's imagine a scenario here. And that is, you want to check if your get component is actually getting the controller in the scene. So how can you check that? Obviously, there's a lot of ways that you can do that. You can get that using debug.log and there are a million different ways of getting that. But the easiest way that I've found over the years of development is just play the game and select the player in my case because the third person controller skip is on the player and switch the inspector so click on this three dot here and then switch the inspector from normal to debug mode and that's gonna bring all the private variables here and as you can see my get component is actually getting the controller that i wanted and you also have here every private variable that you created so i can just turn and that turn smooth velocity is going to be shown here i'm just showing you one way of using the debug inspector you can obviously use this in your own scenarios to help you develop games faster if you want to quickly enable and disable game objects in your scene what you can do is you can just select object or objects you want to disable in your scene and press alt shift a so what alt shift a does is it will enable objects if the objects are disabled and vice versa so you can enable and disable with the same shortcut and you can do this for multiple objects as you can see here and it's pretty great I'm just going to quickly switch my inspector to normal mode. If you are working in your game and suddenly you can find the main camera in your scene view. As you can see, I have a main camera in the hierarchy and when I select it, I can find it. But there's no icon indicating that it's the main camera. And that's because whether intentionally or accidentally, you have turned off gizmos so you go to the right corner here and press this gizmos button so if i just press it as you can see i have gizmos enabled in my camera gizmos is everything that you see in the scene view so just disable it as you can see the lighting the camera icon and everything is gizmos you can also add gizmos to anything so if i just create an empty game object and put it here as you can see without selecting it i cannot see the empty game object so what i can do is i can give it a custom icon let's say this and as you can see i can easily identify the object in my scene and i, I can also select it by pressing on the icon so if you can't find your camera or anything that is a gizmo make sure you have gizmos turned on now let's say for some reason you have a public variable in your script and as we all know public variables will be visible in the inspector as you can see here i have three public variables here and there are also three public variables but for some reason if you want your public variable to be hidden in the inspector what you can do is just type like this hide in inspector and save the script and go back to unity and you will see that despite the transform variable having marked with public because i have a hide in inspector attribute here the transform variable is not showing in the inspector so if you want to hide public variables in your inspector you can easily do that now after learning this trick or this shortcut it just made my life a lot easier because after learning this it just helped with my development time a lot and the problem is when i try to expand things in my scene view as you can see i have to click every time and it becomes tedious very soon as you can see i have a lot of objects here and expanding them all just by one clicking it's become tedious a lot so a quicker way to do that is just just press R in your keyboard and then click what this will do is it will expand all the child and if you have expanded everything it will unexpand it let me just show you what i mean by that so if i just press art and then click as you can see the whole thing 
is expanded i can close this just by pressing alt and then clicking and as you can see everything is not expanded i can just close it and then press alt and everything will be expanded and i can close everything with just pressing alt and then clicking so this has helped me a lot in my development process and i hope this will too for this tip let's imagine a scenario where you want the red cube to be placed on the vertices of this gray cube so you can manually do that by doing it like this way but you're not going to get it exactly the way you want it to be so a quick way to snap objects by their vertices is while the object is selected press v to go to into vertice mode and then you can select any vertice that you want let's say i want this vertice aligned with this vertice so let me just move the cube a little further so i want this vertice snap to this vertice so what i can do is i can press v on my keyboard and then if i move my cursor to this vertice as you can see the um, axis changes so i can just press it and move it closer to this vertice and as you can see it snaps to this vertice and it's true for any vertice that you want i can do it to this to this one any vertice that i want i can just snap it to that vertice so it's pretty helpful when designing your levels these are just some of the things that i've found over the years obviously there are a lot more than the ones i've talked about so if you have any tips or tricks that will help us make sure to drop them in the comment section below other than that with all the tips and tricks at your disposal you might want to start creating this third person controller that i showed you in my video so to make that make sure you go and watch this video